What's going on guys as well as the football channel I have a gaming channel called Red Wolves Gaming If you guys want to follow the social media on that Subscribe to the YouTube channel I really do appreciate it From PC games, Xbox, PS4 in the near future Come join the fun I'll see you guys later What's going on guys, your boy Joey 672 Coming to you guys with a video right now So, with Corey Unlin gone being the new defensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions, I I still don't. I mean, now I get it because I read that they him and Matt Patricia are like friends. So as of right now, the Eagles are bringing in and got permission from the Browns to get Dwayne Walker, okay, the DB coach for the Cleveland Browns. Oh, the Browns? I already know I'm going to hear that one. Okay, I already know that. It's not just the Browns. This guy has 14 years of NFL experience as a DB coach, okay? So I'm going to read off because I don't know his whole career, okay? Um, and we're just going to see what happens. So, Walker has 14 seasons of NFL experience with NFL defensive backs, okay? Worked with the Patriots from 98 to 2000, the Giants 2002 to 03, Redskins 04 to 05, Jaguars 2013 to 2016, the Browns from 17 to 19, defensive coordinator from 06 to 08, and New Mexico State head coach 2009 to 2012. Okay, so this guy's been a coordinator, a head coach, a DB coach, you name it, he's been in that position. So the guy's been everywhere, okay, from the, from the college level up to the, up to the pros. Okay, the one thing that is uh, very liked about this guy, too, he has, during the past five seasons, Walker has developed the likes of Denzel Ward, Greedy Williams, Aaron Colvin, and Jalen Ramsey. So he's developed good talent. He's coached some good talent and brought some guys in and, and turned them into good talents, which is a good thing. So it's nice to see that. And on top of everything else, he likes to coach... He tends to favor the big corners, okay? Bigger corners um, in length and size, uh, like it says right here. If Walker were to join the staff, it could it could be good news for Russell Douglas and Sidney Jones. Walker tends to favor defensive backs with size and length. He has the coach. He has coached in several different defensive systems, but prefers to use press coverage in zone and man schemes. This guy loves playing. Hey, hey, he loves press coverage. He loves press coverage man to man. That's a good thing, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that we could do that because we don't have the personnel to play fucking man coverage right now, but depending on what happens in a free agency and the draft and who we have in this building, Rasul Douglas is not starting on, on the outside this year. It's not happening. You're not turning Rasul Douglas into anything, okay? He is what he is, okay? He's a red zone corner. He's a short field, big size corner. Other than that, you're not getting much out of him, and... and, and there was a few quarterbacks this year that missed some receivers wide open and, and burn Rasul uh, by 10, 15 yards. Okay. So Rasul's a nice serviceable, back, serviceable backup. You could put him on big receivers if you want. But as of right now, this guy's not going to be our starting starting corner. I have more faith in Maddox. I have more faith in Grave on LeBlanc coming off that injury. Sidney Jones is just a backup. He's not going to be anything. There's no, this year's going to be different. No, it's not going to be different. So, I wouldn't count on it whatsoever. So, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. So, uh, so Dwayne Walker. We're going to see if this guy gets hired. It'd be nice to get, at least get a name, get a guy that gets hired, and we could kind of talk about him more. So, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Shake's go up. Follow Sly.